Welcome back to the Final Fantasy VII Remake. And now we're Look probably on our way to Look at my Buster Sword, see... everyone. It is the sword that is uh, the best cloud is... Well, I mean, cloud... you aren't going to see it much in-game, cloud... so here it is. Uh, cloud, not for nothing, but can you please stop stroking your own sword? As I was saying, I'm sorry, we need to say that. I'm sorry, Dreams. A, a true warrior needs to polish his sword constantly. Exactly. Well, he, yeah, he, well, he needs to do that. He's the <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just you, I, well, that's just you, thanks to the new weapon Crystarium that this remake has, if you if you choose, you can stick to the puzzle sword and just and just yeah, uh, like Luigi is doing now. It just evolve that weapon and keep it as your primary weapon instead of using any of the other ones. Yeah, since you were uh, yeah, since since Jova seems to like this massive bulky unwieldy thing that would work in like right. that. Honestly, it's really like pretty it. iconic, and okay, in a yeah. lot of ways, it is kind of practical. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying I don't like it, it's just, you know, uh, it's, it's just a bit big. It's... Well, okay, good. Uh, I, I forget, but uh, he actually ever equipped any of the other swords visibly in this playthrough. Yes, he has, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, under okay, our okay, request. Okay, uh... okay I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, um, if I was the one recording this, uh, I would definitely keep the Buster Sword equipped at all times. Uh, because, uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm, there's a reason to do it. I'm, because, I'm uh, sure. because there's FMVs in this game, and they always have the puzzle stored in the FMVs. Yeah, because, well, like the one we them. got about the Sector 7 destruction. Uh, kind of like how I always prefer to keep Kat's uh, default outfit in Lady Layton, because, you know, it's it kind of is jarring to see her alternate outfit between in-game and animated scenes, so. But, uh, Pedro, I can, I can explain both of those. She changed it between cutscenes. Cloud, Cloud could Cloud could change his swords by the power of will. Okay. And, Kat, I, and and remember my head cannon, yeah, as I'm going to be doing in the playthrough uh, Leighton's mystery journey. Uh, Catrial seems to Catrial will change her outfit no matter where she is, and no matter how awkward it would make everybody around. Her. I mean, um, no more does she have like the... a pop-up changing room in her bag? Like, <laughs> yeah. Starting with starting with Kingdom Hearts, no more did introduce the concept for all of the games that he was involved with to have the characters magically making their weapons appear and disappear at will. Like at least for something like Final Fantasy XV, it is an actual plot point. But for stuff like Kingdom Hearts and Dissidia, it's just a thing taken for granted. People can just summon their weapons out of well... thin air. To be fair, Teo, considering the characters in this series apparently having infinitely deep pockets, it's not exact. It's not like there was ever realism in how people carry things in this series. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. welcome, welcome to Final Fantasy VII, a realistic series about a guy with a giant unwieldy sword, a man with a gun for a hand. It's one Imagine of those where sometimes, most of the time, people just ah, it's a video yeah. game, roll with it. Uh, like some games try to justify it, like Dark Souls and. Uh, um, and you know, Queen, where they have a literally a bottomless bag, they literally like, call it that. I so, guess there's it's always like when, it's like when gaming in the Clinton years complained about Castlevania not having real. I guess there's always, <laughs> I guess there's always good old Super High Glide, which has the weight system, which means if you carry too much stuff, you'll pretty much be moving very slowly. Magic space, basically, like it's, um, it's either bottomless bag or magic space, like Kingdom Hearts, like Taylor said. It can be funny, but I don't think games necessarily need to justify this kind yeah. of thing. No, 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 a, no, well, that, that, no not just that. To me, there still should be some kind of line because, for, for example, for items, it makes sense, you know, having like 99 potions stock up your ass. That's usually the, the way you're saying that my country uses for this kind of concept. No, it was just literally about the weapon because it, it is really really that peculiar that uh, you know it just introduces the idea and keep in mind it's not even a thing that it just happens for visual you know convenience for a couple of kingdom hearts games it is actually a plot point because for example in 358 over two days again also well, yes, do it. Uh, good to know that you installed pers a persona pi royal update um mm -hmm. <laughs> for for 358 over two days there is i forgot four or five different chapters just to mention how long the game goes where Shion is not able to actually summon the Keyblade so Roxas has to summon his and then physically give it to her you know and thus he cannot summon his own for himself so character do possess this ability in particular it's just a thing that's taken for granted 
It's one of those things too where um, developers are more thinking about the, the the story context rather than the the details, the the logistics of carrying shit. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind yeah, if it was just even explain a throwaway line like the ETN seed saying, "Oh, being a chosen of a Keyblade, you will be able to store your your weapon in these you know in these space that you can uh, summon at any point." point. You get, if you get too bogged down in logistics and realism, your game's not gonna be much fun. Okay, good. yeah, it's always true. it's always right to maintain a balance in there. I think Tio though, Kingdom Hearts One also sort of did that, like. I don't know if they ever started addressing it, but we did see that one scene in Neverland where Sora can literally make the keyboy disappear at will, and yeah. Which also, is... the po also the point in uh, Hollow Pass in the first game where Riku Raikou steals it uh, and Sora is not able to summon it anymore. Like, yeah, keep in mind, Riku. it's to me it's not really much a matter of quote unquote realism, but more of a world establishing its own rules. Uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of those cases where... Um, it, oh, oh, right. It's a time to introduce the gimmick of the dungeon, the grappling guns. All right. And um, how the grappling guns work here is that when you get to... Is that you have to get into a certain position, and then when you're there, you aim you aim your camera using the right analog stick at, a, at where the uh, game says you can use the grappling gun, and that will automatically carry you over to the next area. Oh, it's actually really very RPMC. easy when you get down to it. It's actually it actually reminds me a lot, uh, you know, Square Enix and all. It actually reminds me a lot of Just Cause. Actually, I was gonna say it's pretty much Arkham City. <laughs> or well, to be fair, Java, a similar chem mechanic, which was taken from Arkham City, was uh, used for yeah, the right. Ig Igni Ignis DLC. For uh, uh, Final Fantasy 15. Oh, oh I, love, I, love that. I love that DLC so much. Also, I have to me. check what the boss of a level is gonna be. Yeah, oh, there yeah. you go. The Heligander in, in, a, a in, a, in an early appearance. Now in this Wait, game, I think it's the name The Valkyrie. Oh boy. We can take Honestly, I should prefer that name. We need to stay on mission. Don't worry, Barrett. If it gets in our way, then we can blow it up. Right. It will get in our way. They put way too much focus on it. Yeah. I know. Saving Aerith is our top priority. But we can still be the on the way, please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Barrett, I told you. If it only if it gets in our way, and then we blow it. <laughs> it's two things. One. Uh, congrats, right. Tips. I see that I'm right. getting through to you uh, right. with, your, that, with, with your realization that logistics, uh, we should be careful with being over logistical. Were those um, guys seriously just waiting behind that rubble to attack us? Yes, uh, they were that ah, yes. sneaky breaky. Right. But yeah, uh, actually, Tara, I'm actually curious considering what your, um, uh, c considering your, 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 quiz on, uh, your uh, uh, stance on items. Like, what about the way dry, the Dragon Quest handles that? Uh, I don't get or, I, I keep in mind it's been a long time since I played uh, 8, so... I, I, that's okay, I can explain it. Go, go ahead, Ips. I was kind of hoping that you could pick up the radio and uh, you have Cloud or Barrett or Tifa tell them basically, I killed your, I killed your guard, fuck you. Mm, Dweebs, uh, like, we're try still trying to pass indiscreet. Uh, Indiscreet? What, with a giant sword and things blowing yes, up her? Yeah, believe so because they're using these big tunnels. But as you will see in a second, there's only so much we can do. Hold on. E. <laughs> Very small as ever, Barrett. Oh. 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 You know. Um, hello. You know. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. See, I told you. Those giant, those. What are you saying about those giant things and being discreet to you? Well, it was know. it was Barrett's fault, not Cloud. You know, you know, you know, um, you know, you know. But... You know, not not gonna lie. When I first came to the section, I thought, oh, that bottom section must be optional because I noticed the mooks down there. Turns out, but I was no, kind of but... more onto things than I thought. Yeah, I mean, but, I uh... guess those mooks were just a sign that yes, there will be fighting. Go on, Pedro. Uh, the inventory system in Dragon Quest works like this. There's a bag where you can carry un an unlimited amount of items. However, each character can carry a specific num a, a set number of items, any items regarding it, whether it's weapons, shields, uh, consumables, whatever it is. 
Mm. Uh, so you have a limit to how many. Well, for example, let's say when we want to use herbs, for example, you have to have herb. Herbs are basically the potions of the dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you want to use herbs, you have to have them on your characters. You can't take mm -hmm. them out of the bag. So basically, you have a limited number of healing items you can carry per character. Not to mention, like, you have to also have the equipment stuff. So basically, you have to be careful about how many items you put on each character. Um, well, in, in a way, it's similar to all Kingdom Hearts handle things. You assign a set, a set number of items to each character. Well, but Kingdom Hearts, it only applies to the consumables, though. In, in Dragon Quest, it applies to all items. That's the thing. So. Well, uh, however, aside, however, aside from your equipment uh, and the consumables, whatever items are there. Uh, depends, Tail. Um, uh, there's also, uh, in much like, Final Fan much like Final Fantasy games, post. Uh, well, actually, no, I've even six kind of handles. Uh, aside from, there's also items that can damage. Uh, oh, you well, I treat consumable also like that because you know they're in a finite amount. Sure, all right, I guess you can say that. Um, and that's Barrett. Um, I think that was pretty yeah, sort the, of the big shot to right? avoid being renamed to. I mean, so it's not kind of a half and half where the game flat out states that characters can only carry a set amount of stuff on their pockets. However, the back for some reason is still bottomless. Well, if the bag is bottomless, but the characters of in universe say that they can carry only so much within them, that's the rules of that, you know, that universe. And they uh, actually bother to establish an invention wow. just being once, like that. Uh, once again, um, these, those, um, okay, they should have, the material they used to make those the benches and vending machines, they should have used for the buildings, because these things can withstand shit. <laughs> well, that's a faint, well, that's a faint tale. Like uh, technically, it's only the gameplay that explains that. the The story, ne the stories of these games, never actually acknowledges how the inventory works. So, tech, you can argue that well, because the story doesn't contradict it. Maybe you can just assume that that's how it works. So, uh, yeah, oh. that too. I and I got another soundtrack to add to my collection, lurking in the darkness. I think yeah. a good question is why even bother bringing it up if you're not going to address it. Well, no, I, I don't think you understand, Joe. But like, like gameplay-wise, that's how the inventory system works. Um, I was just saying because uh, you can argue that that's how it, it works story-wise as well, because the game never contradicts it. No. Like it, it's it's very simple, Pedro. You know, it's a it's a video game, a fictional universe. If it establishes a rule, you know, I can understand that. I'm not, you know, you know, I'm not forced to actually like it. But I understand it, uh, you know, if it bothers. If this universe states that, uh, you know, cubes can switch between the floor and the ceiling with a command, you know, that's the universe rules. Sure. All right, so after a nice uh, sit down in, 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 in between all this rubble and death and destruction, uh, and we can you know, the treasure chest. It's one treasure chest. That's also another They're thing. This, this dungeon introduces uh, this dungeon also introduces the soldier type enemies, which uh, is uh, they're actually more agile. They can dodge your attacks and be very deadly with their own. Well, didn't um, well you mean soldier types? Is... Oh, okay, never mind. Soldier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, like ca ca caps lock soldiers. Yeah. Okay, then. We how you up again? Yeah, in hindsight, they put, they should have. In hindsight, uh, back in '97, they should have called the uh, the force something different because that you can is easily confused. Oh come on! Well, it, since, it, since it was text only, it may it would have been easy. If it was easy thanks to making it all cap caps lock aside. You know, yeah. here I guess we could have found the considerable voice acting. We could have. Uh, Done something cute and make it an acronym. I mean, there are a lot of media that have these uh, acronyms that are, you know, that are common words that yeah, are instead true. composed by, you know, com overcomplicated terms. of innocent fair makes fun of that. So we could have done yeah. something similar to that. True, true. This game has an excuse of how the old game. However, to that still is an excuse. How the fact that 13 still had that, uh, even though it didn't, it didn't have the text excuse. That's the thing. Okay, okay, okay. Well, okay. to be fair, it doesn't. It doesn't. The, the soldiers are the instead are just a class. Their name of unity is Psycom. I think mm -hmm. I think where the issue comes is then they started introducing all these different factions. Like with seven, the main differences were literally just in the enemy names here and there. Like they were still all a part of Soldier here. With thirteen, we had Psycom, we had the reserves, we had the outer troops. Yeah, that core stuff. 
didn't help when, you know, sometimes they made certain mooks much nicer than other ones because they were part of a different faction, and then did not proceed to tell us until the data log assumed it necessary, just leaving us confused as to why this faction acted like this while this other faction acted like this despite them all being dressed the, the same. <laughs> Here, let me use, uh, let me use drips let, to pull uh, Jova's let, let me give you Let me give you a good example, Jova, because I know that it's basically e quote unquote easy mode for this um, kind of argument, but uh, just for the sake of it, uh, Yasumi Matsuno, every time he has to write one of its, uh, well, conceptualize at least, and not, he doesn't necessarily write all of them completely by himself, but every time he has to conceptualize one of its fictional universe that involves politics, uh, he creates at least three or four different factions, each with their own set of characters. Think of Fire Emblem multiplied by 2.5, basically. Uh, you, you, were saying, you were saying, Pedro? Uh, let me, here, let me use Dweb's to prove Joffa's point. Uh, Dweb's, if I, if you ask me, uh, what's your objective? What are you, what are you after? And I answer you, I'm after the false C. What would you say to me? Um, what's a Falky? Exactly. See, there you go. <laughs> that that's because much... Weebs doesn't have a context. Well, that's the problem. Like, I, I think that's how the game introduces the term. I was, I was about to mention that. Like, the, going back to the whole game, has to, you game universe has to establish its own context. Uh, you know, thirteen decides to handle that by, like Pedro Wall loves to say, dumping an encyclopedia onto your knees and up and while you're still in pain, telling you to read it. Like, I'm not reading that. Okay, okay, okay. Like, Sorry, Shiri, do you need to press it more onto your knees? Like, again, again, again. <laughs> and here's the weird thing. The game itself does eventually, and I do mean eventually, explain some stuff, but if you want to have any semblance of what's going on in the story at, right there in the moment, you gotta read that data log, otherwise you're going to be... Stumped. And, like, still... and it's not even like summaries of information. It is just full pages of. Yeah. I, I find I find it so ludicrous that to still to this day, so many so many stories have such an easy way to introduce all of their lore, at least most of their lores, you know, and uh, plot points, thanks to a simple initial narration that tell the mythos of a world, but they refuse to do it for some reason. If and I play a text-based game, I'll play a text-based game. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Compare, yeah. Like, uh, it, it's not even a matter of uh, you can't have text. Period. Of course you can. Nino Kuni One is a brilliant example of that, where you have an entire book of not just spells but lore and story. It also has have have. an actual plot point. Uh, Here's the rule of yeah. thumb: the extra but book... book. That book is fun to look at. The data log is not. Okay. Okay. Here's the rule of thumb: the extra text needs to be stuff. That is mainly just supplementary, not stuff that exactly. is required to enjoy the main exactly. venture. It's like if in, in it's like if Whoa. in Ace Attorney. Well, actually, no, 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 no. I can't even compare that to Ace Attorney because normally when I need a, when we read another book to understand what's going on, that's because you know we're in the same place where the characters are. Like you know, so it's not like the characters always know something that we don't. We are literally in the characters' shoes. So there, pretty much almost any bout of text that you know isn't stuff that you already know. <laughs> is supplementary. Save for sometimes uh, when wow. the characters may know a bit more than you, but that's mainly just for narrative setting stuff here. Yeah, I was, just, I was just gonna say there are, there are some exceptions. Like yeah. I said, like I said, well that's for when, you know, it works in the narrative's favor. Whereas with 13, it's just because they didn't think on how to Don't properly introduce stuff. <laughs> there you go. Oh god. I got it, yeah, I got it. it. <laughs> A great example. Barrett, are, 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 are you okay? Was no, he, he's not. Was he just whimpering? <laughs> keep, him, no. keep in mind that he has to keep the balance with the metal arm, you know, yeah. so his balance is completely thrown off. Basically, guys, you ever try and play uh, the balance board on the Wii Fit? Think that, but uh, five times more harrowing, and your life does actually uh, count on it. But yeah. um, I'm sorry, like uh, one of the skateboards on the Tony Hawk. But do it. But, those those work. A great example. <laughs> a great example of what Jova was just saying is uh, again, uh, like uh, uh, let's say in Inokuni One, where we finally create the Clarion. Oh, using I love Marcus. that. Yeah, when we create the Clarion, Clarion using Marcuson and Swain's uh, together abilities as brothers, then 
Uh, the game literally says, you've unlocked a new story in the Wizard's Companion. And if you go read that story that just got unlocked, it's the story of how the first ever Clarion got made. And it's a genuinely well-written, old-school-style fairy tale about brothers. So it not only ties into the theme of what has happened in the cutscenes, it tells you extra lore of the world of how this whole Clarion secret instrument thing came from. So, and you, and you can completely ignore all of this crap and nothing will be lost on you. I swear, yep. 13 is like the introduction to Final Fantasy on how to do everything wrong with Final Fantasy. Again, I cannot stress enough how fitting it was that I was properly introduced to the franchise with both Final Fantasy 7 and Final Fantasy 13, what's considered it the series best and worst. It's like I just said, but Final Fantasy XIV is not a real Final Fantasy game. It just has the name of one. It doesn't have the. It doesn't cross even near half of the the boxes that that, that a Final and Fantasy. And it's ironic. Needs okay. To cross. And it's okay. ironic because it's sandwiched between titles that were supposed to be speed off, so, but got instead relegated to be proper Final Fantasy games mainline. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. So, question. Isn't that more of a promotion than a relegation? What? Sorry, Dave, sir. It was going that it's from... more of a promotion than a relegation. Depends on your concept of promotion, please, because sometimes the promo the promotion happened out of circumstances. Basically, for, fi for let's let's be fair, fifteen got renamed like that only because Square needed to release a next mainline installment, and Versus Thirteen simply needed to be retold. So they basically killed the two birds with oh shit, with oh. one stone. All right, all right, uh, go ahead, let's explain this. Okay, so uh, basically, um, most of this bot uh, you have to use to hide from the uh, bullet shots. When the when it stops firing, that's your cue to move over to the next part of cover. Uh, unfortunately, I'm playing this game, so uh, you don't have a good sense of time. Wait, 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 wait. Think about it like the pinstripe boss fight. To, it should to, be simple. To, to do this credit, I also kind of suck at this section, so I'm not going to say anything. The, the important stuff is to keep looking at what the boss does and the direction he points his cannons. There you go. I don't think oh, he's picking time. any specific oh, direction. Yeah. I think he's just firing into the... Nothing. No, 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 no. <laughs> Eva, okay, I can ask you directly immediately <laughs> now, Shire, but if you see properly in the game, you, you, get, you, are, you start to see the way he puts his cannons down because of a okay. cooldown. Well, I was just, just going to say, half the time, you, you get you don't even get enough time while it's reloading to run across. It gives you, like, half a second. Yeah. I would agree with Riz that, yeah, the, timer, the timing could have been a bit more forgiving. I, I agree. That's an understatement. Honestly, th there's also an easy way to fix this. Don't give Cloud the uh, the flinching motion. Just having still, but having still take the damage, as we say in New York V, you know, but uh, but stop having him flinching and still going. It, so you basically still get you still get punished. But there's no chance to get cover. You still get well, no, because you you know you still take the damage. So that's the point, Wibs. You know you don't want to have that because uh, maybe as a compensation, raise the the number the, the number of HP removed with each, with each hit. That way you still have the challenge, you know, but uh, you're not forced to go back every time you get hit. I don't know why, yep. but this current soundtrack reminds me of Blinded of Light a bit. I think it's actually a set of new Thank ones, you, because I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't remember them, these, these particular ones uh, from the original. Definitely, yeah. Uh... That is true, to, that is true tale, but at the same time, the sad part there yeah. is that even before it got rebranded into 15, even even before that, Nomur was already talking about the, uh, how he wanted to implement a, a world map in the game. So even before the rebranding, Nomur was already treating it more like a Final Fantasy than 14 was. That's the sad part. <laughs> well, okay, so question. Which do you consider more of an actual Final Fantasy project? Final Fantasy 13 or Spirits Within? Uh, well, okay, I guess, if I, I guess if I have to choose, yeah, but... The, the only remote things that uh, Spirits Within has to Final Fantasy is a character named Seed and a chocobo small wooden statues in one frame. Oh, That's yeah. sad. I was about to ask, does Spirits Within even have a chocobo? Oh. Like, even Mysticus managed to there's get like a, There's like a small, the small wooden statue on like the, 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 the bad table on one yeah. of the characters. Yeah, I guess I have to get 13 at the very least. There's chocobos in it. 
<laughs> Not just that, even the, the again, thanks to the monster design, some of, most of the iconic monsters of the franchise are there, and actually but quite that, uh, the, a more renewed look for them. But that, but that in itself has a lot of If you have to resort to spirits within to make that game seem more Final Fantasy, yes, that itself should tell you something. Again, part of the issue with 13, God, that game gives us a lot to talk about, is the constant splitting up of the party to the point where they don't even feel like a proper unit or family until, like, say... And as a result, the they constantly post. yell at each other. Yeah, like, hell, it's to the point where when Lightning and Snow finally make up Bro. and are all nice to each other there, it feels like... Like two thirds into the game. It feels like... Three like quarters. I'm sorry, Taylor, but I have to ask. Okay, in terms of parties not getting along, which would you still prefer? Uh, 13's party or Fairy Fencer F's party? <laughs> Okay, uh, okay. I, I think you, know, you already I, asked this question to me during Fairy Friends Rift, so I, think he was asking res me I, res I resort to the answer that I gave you there. Okay, okay, okay. My answer is this. I will I take... I don't remember it, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, you made so many highlights of me, you probably have time to check them out. Okay, oh, wow. Maybe it's, maybe it's in one of them. <laughs> it actually has a point there, sure. Okay, okay, okay. My, an <laughs> my answer is this. I will, honest to God, take Fairy Friends Ref's characters bickering over Final Fantasy XIV, because Fairy Friends Ref was going for more of a comedic sense. Granted, yes, it was supposed to be the more serious RPG to Neptunia's more comedy comedy stuff, but let's ignore that and recognize that Fairy Fence Ref has... Comedy, was a comedy funny? Uh, no. A Fairy Fence Ref? No. Dwibs, you were there. Yeah. Dwibs, you yeah, were there. I, I was just asking still. I'm the one that got plastered, not you. Okay, okay, okay. Here's, here's the thing. I will take... Uh, Fairy Fence Ref had more of a comedic sense to it, and I had an easier time buying that the characters eventually started to like each other because their bickering was more along the lines of Oh, you do something stupid, or oh, you rap scallion, or stuff like that. Oh, we... oh, I just remembered. Go ahead, finish job before I say it. The Final Fantasy XIV. It, it feels like the characters are two steps away from trying to murder each other. Hell, sometimes hope... literally with hope uh, against the snow. And just mind you, I and cannot. For no good reason. My yeah, like seriously. But the but Pedro Snow killed totally killed his mother. Even though. Even though yeah. it's... That's not what happened, and we could have just told to each other, but no. And then there's Lightning, who goes from will leave behind a child to then falling in love with said child for no reason whatsoever. Jova, 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 that happens only in the fan fiction. Canonically, that's not what happens. And yet, for some reason, Worst that seems... birthday ever. Oh, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have I mentioned that Lightning... Lightning is a weird character. One minute she goes from this stoic, serious officer to someone who seems more like a teen YouTuber who goes with all the low modern speech here and they're like, worst birthday ever, zero out of 13. Yeah, uh, yeah. never mind, um, Shiroi, I just remember there's one mm -hmm. particular point in the fair friends that I play for where Teo's uh, being all desperate and goes, I, I want no stupidity back. Yeah, yeah. basically that's that, that's my answer, Pedro. Like, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Jova, I get what you mean about the comedy thing and all, but I will take the party of 13 with all of their flaws over the one of Fairy Friends Rev because Fairy Friends Rev goes for extremes. A, characters, a, a character I either, you know, at the very least tolerate or completely dislike. With 13, I have a more of a gray area to go through. Oh, don't anyway, get me wrong. Well, I, oh, wait, wait, I hope you oh. enjoy... Hope... I hope you enjoyed our uh, Final Fantasy XIII retrospective. Uh, join us in the next part where we will um, where, where, we'll act, where, where we'll try and um, talk about what's going on on screen because there is a big boss to fight at the next part. I was going to finish, but oh well.